let's talk about your back pain. My specialty is spinal health, and that's because I used to have back pain too when I was in my 20s because I had scoliosis. And throughout the period following my diagnosis, the recommendation was go see a chiropractor. And so once a month, my parents would pay for me to see a chiropractor. And when I became an adult, I couldn't afford seeing a chiropractor anymore. And so I just stopped getting treatments and I was athletic and I was in pain a lot of the time. In fact, I worked in a video store and I also worked at a school for children with autism and part of my job required forward folding all the time and I would get stuck. I wouldn't be able to stand back up and I was in such serious pain and discomfort that I was put on muscle relaxants, which those worked really well to the point that I couldn't get to work because the muscle relaxants had knocked me out so much. Okay, so that was the cause of my back pain. What's the cause of yours? What's the reason behind it? It wasn't until I started practicing yoga that I realized why I had back pain. The scoliosis was the result of the behaviors I had engaged in with my body. And since I wasn't stretching, I wasn't twisting, I wasn't creating opposite process, I wasn't extending my spine, what was happening was I was in a constant state of compression. And so that was resulting in discompression and bulges. I don't know what you're doing on a daily basis, but I can tell you that if you come into the studio, if we work together, we can probably identify what it is that creates your back pain and discomfort and then postures you can engage in, breath work you can do, mindfulness activities that you can engage in that can help you to relieve that discomfort. Because let me tell you, the cure for my scoliosis discomfort and pain wasn't just movement or stretching or relaxation. It was the whole gamut of the practices of yoga. And I notice if I don't engage in those practices, if I take a break, if I slack off, then that pain returns. So it's important to identify What's the thing that you're doing? What's the cause, right? Because the symptom is just an indication that there's something wrong. The cause is the behavior engaging in.